Hi friends, myself Dr. Vasis. Namaskar. Welcome to our YouTube channel back for back Today I am going to discuss about the new coronavirus which has caused havoc in China and other parts of the world. We have been witnessing dreadful viral diseases like SARS, Ebola, Nipah fever in recent years. A newly emerged and identified coronavirus has been spreading in China and has now reached several other countries dreadfully. First of all, we would like to know what is coronavirus. The coronaviruses are known to cause respiratory disease in humans such as common cold. Most of the people get infected with some uh, or the other coronavirus at one point in their lives. But symptoms are typically mild to moderate. In some cases, the viruses can cause lower respiratory tract symptoms such as pneumonia and bronchitis. These viruses are common amongst animals worldwide, but only a handful of them are known to affect humans. Rarely, coronaviruses can evolve and spread from animals to humans. This is what happened with the coronaviruses known as the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus and the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, both of which are known to cause more severe symptoms. The first case of this new coronavirus was reported in Wuhan city. China on uh, December 31st, 2019. Since then, the virus has spread to many other countries. It is spreading like fire in China. I would like to mention here that the pet owners should not be panicked about their dogs and themselves because the coronavirus found in dogs is very, very different from the new coronavirus. Uh, the virus found in dogs can affect dogs only, not human beings. Now the first question arises, how did this virus transmit from animals to humans? Some viruses are known to uh, you know, become capable of transmitting to humans and this coronavirus is one of those. But how? The studies reveal the likely host is a snake or bat. It is found that a change to one of the viral proteins in the coronavirus allows this virus to enter in humans. Now let's discuss about the origin of new coronavirus. Six previous coronavirus are known to infect people. This is the seventh one. The new coronavirus strain likely originated at a seafood and uh, you know animal market in Wuhan. Possibly the food habits of the Chinese people might be responsible for this also. The coronavirus originate in animals like camels, civet, snakes, bats and are usually not transmissible to humans. Can this virus spread human to human? Yes, in limited cases, uh, but the primary mode of transmission looks to be from animal to human. The human coronavirus can most commonly spread between an infected person uh, and other via uh, the air from a cough or sneeze by contact, that is by touching or by shaking hands. Uh, an object or surface with the viral particles on it, that is touching your mouth, nose, or eyes before washing your hands and really from the fecal contamination. Now what are the symptoms and how this new coronavirus can be treated? The symptoms of new coronavirus include fever, cough, difficulty in breathing. These symptoms are similar to those caused by SARS. Despite sharing some of the symptoms that were similar to SARS, there are some important basic differences. For example, the absence of upper respiratory tract symptoms like a running nose, sneezing and sore throat and intestinal symptoms like diarrhea uh, which affected 20% to 25% of the SARS patients. There is no specific treatment for new coronavirus infection as yet and the most of the people will recover with their own. So the symptomatic treatment with rest is must. There is no vaccine for this new coronavirus but researchers are trying to develop uh, this uh, vaccine very soon. What is being done to stop the spread of the coronavirus? Early detection and the quarantine are essential measures to you know, check the transmission of these infections. China has started to shut down flights and trains from Wuhan. The Chinese government has stopped most of the travel to and from Wuhan as well as 12 other nearby cities. This uh, lockdown affects about 35 million people in China. Major airports in many threatened countries are conducting a screening to make sure incoming passengers aren't infected. However, the re-evolution of the effectiveness of this screening is must. Now, next question is what is going to happen in coming days? Looking at what happened with MERS and SARS, it is likely that some spread of this virus 
from close contact between human will continue to occur. It goes without saying, in the coming days more cases will likely to be identified.